Welcome to Advanced Composition. I'm Professor James Patterson. In this video, I want to take a look at cause and effect essays, specifically the different structures that you can use in your composition essays. Um, in terms of cause and effect essays, I want to start by talking about paragraphs. In a cause and effect essay, you're going to have paragraphs that can be spent specifically discussing causes, and you can have some paragraphs that specifically look at effects. And I think everyone that's watching this video already understands that. Most of you already have some con, some background on, on writing cause and effect essays. What I want to point out, though, is that the same thing can apply to the essay as a whole. In other words, we can have an entire essay that focuses just on the cause of a particular event. We can have an entire essay or paper that specifically looks only at the results or at the effects of a common cause or event. And so in this essay, I want to take a look at some of those things and show you how you can set up those essay formats. Now, Alan Myers, in his book, Composing with Confidence, says, quote, whether a paragraph examines causes or effects, it usually begins by establishing the topic, period, end quote. So when you're writing your essays, regardless of what type of essay, but an academic essay, an academic cause and or effect essay, always start each body paragraph with your topic sentence. All right, let's take a look at some structures. Now, once you've started with that topic sentence, the description of causes or effects can take one of two basic structures. So write this down. First of all, you can develop your paragraphs in chronological order in chronological order. In other words, you're going to start with the first cause or effect in time, and you're going to move forward in time to the most recent cause or effect. But you can also use what we call an emphatic or emphasis order. And that is you're going to start with some of the minor causes or effects, or uh, the least important causes and effects, and build up through your essay to the, the most common or the most important cause or the most important result. Okay? So here on my slide, I have a simple example in a chronological order. You'll see that my first point is the cause or effect, the first cause in time or the first effect in time. Then we move on to the second cause or effect in time. We move forward in time to the next cause or effect, and then we end it with the most recent cause or effect. That's the chronological order. We can also use the emphatic or emphasis order, in which case, in this, with this slide, we start with an important cause or an important effect. Then we move on to another important cause or effect. We talk about a very important cause or effect. And then we talk about the most important cause or effect. So here's an example. Uh, we might write an essay about uh, gang membership in our, in our community, getting young people, juveniles, getting in adolescents, getting involved in gangs, children getting involved in gangs. And we could write an essay that talks about both the causes of why kids get involved in gangs. We could also talk about the effects of what happens when kids get involved in, in, in gangs. But in this example here, I want to focus just on causes. In other words, I have a lot of young people in my community who are joining gangs, and I want to understand why. So I'm going to focus on the causes of gang membership in my community. I'm going to start with, with identifying the rise of gang membership in my city. I'm going to identify what it is that is the effect that I want to explore. And then I'm going to talk about an important cause of why young people get involved with gangs. Then I'll move on to talk about another cause of why people, why young folks get involved in gangs. And then I'm going to build up to the most important cause of gang membership in my community. So in this example, am I using a chronological example? No. In this example, I'm dealing with emphatic, emphatic or emphasis. I'm talking about one cause, then another cause, and then I'm building up to the most important cause of gang membership. But let's take a look at another one. Uh, again, we could talk about a cause-effect essay on, uh, on response to uh, epidemics and flu pandemics in our community. Uh, we could do that. We could write an essay that deals with causes and effects. But I want to write an essay that focuses specifically on the effects. And I want to look specifically at a, at, at a particular uh, epidemic that occurred in my community a number of years ago. 
So I'm going to start with talking about the outbreak of the H1N1 flu in my community. And then I'm going to talk about what was the first response of the schools to the flu epidemic. Then I'm going to move forward in time and talk about the next response of our schools in my community to the H1N1 flu breakout. And then I'm going to end by getting up to the most recent response, the most recent effect from my schools, from the schools in my community to the H1N1 flu. So again, I'm writing an essay that talks about the H1N1 flu in my community. Am I using an emphatic approach? No. In this case, I'm using a chronological approach. I'm starting in time with the beginning of the flu outbreak, and I'm moving forward in time to, to sort of chart chronologically the different responses of the schools in my community. Okay, so any essay you're writing, even if it's cause-effect essay, first thing you want to do is do your research. Get sure you've got all of your information in front of you before you begin, and then you want to pre-write. Take a look, examine, think about the different causes and effects. You might want to brainstorm or list various causes and effects. And then you may have, a, this is the point where you want to make that choice. Do you, in your paper, want to talk about causes and effects? Would it be a stronger paper if you focused on just the causes of a particular event? Would it be a better paper if you started with a cause and then looked at all of the effects, the results of that incident or event in your community? Sort through your list, structure and combine. That's a fancy word of saying outline your paper and then draft your thesis statement, okay? In this short video, I've talked about cause and effect structures. I want you to understand that there's three basic structures. You can deal with both cause and effect. You can deal just with causes. You can deal just with effects. Thanks.